I will explain what action link group template is. Um, you go to setup and then um, user interface in ac action link templates. When you create a template, it's group, group together APIs, a couple of APIs, um, and to do uh, an external API call and then uh, do other feed uh, action such as that. Um, use action link group template to instantiate an action link group with common properties. An action link is a button on a feed element that targets an API, a web page, or a file. Use action links to integrate Salesforce and third party system into the feed. Every action link belongs to the action link group and action links within the group are mutually exclusive. So let's uh, create a new action. So I, my test, uh, primary action, hours until expiration. So like one hour, right? When you click it, it will eat for one hour. So. I create it. So this is a, these are the properties for action link. Action uh, is in the view mode. Um, this is the action link group template. So underneath that you can add action link templates here. La it has label action type HTT method action. So you can add bunch of action links to that action link group. Uh, when I click link there, uh, I got some issues with Salesforce sandbox. It's all right. Uh, yeah, um, I have the issue with the current uh, sandbox with Salesforce. I think um, with the latest patches, they are not working probably. But anyway, we, we move on. This is the Apex developer guide working on action link. An action link is a button or feed element like this. Clicking an action link can take user to a page, initiate a file download or invoke an API call to Salesforce or to an external server. An action link includes a URL and an HTTP method and can include a request body and header information set as OO token for authentication. Use action links to generate say, Salesforce and third party services to the feed so that the users can drive productivity and ac accelerate innovation. Look like that here. This is the, um, this feed item contains one action link group with one visible action link called join here. Um, when you click join, the workflow to create action links with the feed elements. So it creates create an action link template, it's optional, and it's called the APIs, and second one called the chatter uh, feed element. So these are the connect API, you can use the connect APIs, these are the connect APIs. Um, this is the documentation, it's uh, on action uh, links. Um, let's go to, uh, so this is the one example here uh, of the documentation. This is same as one. Uh, this is an um, example of action link template. An action link is a button of feed element. Um, in this example, approve or reject here, this here, are action links that can make API calls to the REST API or of a fictional travel website to approve or reject an itinerary. When Pam created the itinerary on the travel website, the travel website made a connect API to request and port feed item with action links to Pam's manager, Kevin, so that the, he can approve or reject the itinerary. So that's how it works. Action links are a developer feature, although the, 
you can create action link template in setup you must use the apex connect rest apis to generate action links from templates and to add them to the feed element so these uh, are the do uh, documentation how to create action link templates here um, this is the one we create the action, action link group template i think we created this is an action link template so we uh, we got a bug on self uh, uh, sandbox so this is that window look uh, looks like underneath the action link groups this is action link template so you have um, actually this is a action link parent template and action api and this is a url post request this is a body this is a header we pass a bearer token for authentication position one label key by um, user visibility everybody can see um, connect rest api request and insert here the action link group and the values for the binding values so this is what happens this is a json for that the connect action link api this apex code instantiate action link group from the template and set the values to the binding variable. I did explain that to you. Um, this is a how to create an action link template here. You can have a look. This is how you edit the action link template here. You delete action link templates package action link templates this is how you package action link templates 